हेलो स्टूडेंट लेट अस सॉल्व क्वेश्चन में दिसंबर 2023 ओके दिस इज बेसिकली फ्रॉम अ मॉलिक्यूलर फिजिक्स इट्स अ रियली इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन ओके द क्वेश्चन आईडी इज 705052 दैट क्वेश्चन इज गिवन दैट यू हैव अ रोटेशनल रोटेशनल वाइब्रेशनल स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ सीओ मॉलिक्यूल हैविंग इक्विलिब्रियम बॉन्ड लेंथ इज 0.12 नैनोमीटर रिड्यूस मास ऑफ दिस मॉलिक्यूल इज 1.2 इनटू 10 टू द पावर माइनस 26 किलोग्राम एंड Vibrational frequency is five in ten to the power thirteen hertz. Okay, so the wavelength corresponds to the transition uh, between adjacent vibrational level is given. That is lambda on and lambda two corresponds to rotational transition j prime j prime equals to zero to j double prime equals to on for lambda on and for lambda two that rotational transition is j Prime equals to one to j double prime equals to zero, and it's also mentioned there is no coupling or there is ignore uh, there is no coupling between rotational and vibrational spectra. So we have to find this value of ratio of lambda one to that of lambda two. So we have a, a CO molecule performing rotational vibrational spectra. The transition between adjacent vibrational level. Having wavelength lambda one and lambda two corresponds to rotational transition is j prime equals to zero to j double prime equals to one, and for lambda two that is j prime equals to one to j double prime equals to zero. Okay, and these are the parameter that is given: bond length, reduced mass, and vibrational frequency is given. So you have to find this lambda one by lambda. It's a really, really interesting question. Okay, so as you know, it's mentioned there is no coupling between the rotational and vibrational spectra. Okay, so only will uh, I mean. This uh, lambda one and lambda two, they are different only because of different rotational transition. One is corresponds to this, and the other is corresponds to this. So, if you see in that uh, rotational vibrational spectra, what used to happen? You have a two vibrational level, V double prime equals to zero, and V prime equals to one. So, for V prime, uh, V uh, each vibrational level will have many rotational level. So, these are J double prime. Zero on two, and if for v prime equals to on, there will be many associated rotational level. I am taking only three to make it simple. And these are basically j prime can be zero on two and so on. It's so mentioned according to the given question that if we have a transition from j prime equals to zero to on, we'll have emission of photon having wavelength lambda one. Okay, so I'll ignore this uh, vibrational part here because for both case vibrational energy of photon will be same and they are not coupling. Okay, so the emitted photon during this transition that I can calculate because we know that energy of rotational level in terms of wavelength that will be b j into j plus one centimeter inverse. Okay, B is known as rotational constant. For lower level, B double prime equals to zero. That rotational constant is B double prime, and for upper level, that is B prime. So for this transition, I can write the energy of emitted photon. Energy of emitted photon, epsilon gamma, that will be. Epsilon J double prime. B double prime minus epsilon J prime B prime. Okay, so here J double prime is how much? J double prime is one. So obviously this now uh, this term. So J double prime equals to one. It will be two B double prime, and J prime is zero. So minus zero. This will be two B prime. So. This is, uh, I mean, in terms of wave number, right? So wave number means what? This is nothing but one by lambda one because this is wave number of emitted photon that will be one by lambda one. What I can say from here that lambda one that will be one by two b double prime. Let us take this is your equation number one. Okay. In the same way, if the molecule make transition from one to zero. There will be emission of photon having wavelength lambda two. 
So in such case, I can write that energy of emitted photon again epsilon gamma in terms of wave number that will be how much? So now it will be epsilon j prime b prime minus epsilon j double prime b double prime. And this will be how much? Since j prime is how much in this case that will be on. So this will be 2b prime and j double prime is 0. So this will be 0. So this will be simply 2b prime. That means wave number again it will be on by lambda 2 because wave number of photon here. So it means I can write that lambda 2 that will be simply on by 2b prime. So this is the let's take this equation number 2. Now if you divide equation on from so what we have on the left hand side 1 by lambda 1 by 1 by lambda 2 that will be uh, lambda 2 that will be simply 2b prime divided by 2b double prime. So we cancel so b prime by b double prime. Okay. So this ratio will be always less than 1. Why? I will tell you. Because you know that b rotational constant is inversely proportional to r naught k square. So molecules staying at ground state having lower bond length as compared to molecules staying at upper state. So upper state mein kya hoongi? Uh, R naught ka value jada hoongi. So B prime small hoongi as compared to B double prime. Okay. So B double prime is greater than B prime. So this ratio will be on. So this may say clearly pata chal lai ki aapka option C and option D bai se gaib ho jayega kyunki wahan pe jo ratio given hai that is more than 1. So this value will be less than 1. Now, jab lower se upper level mein 0 se on par jati hai molecule, to bond length utna bhi significantly change nahi ho ki hai. There will be little bit change in the bond length. So, it means what? B double prime will be little bit smaller than, as a little bit greater than B prime. This ka matlab kya hai? Agar B double prime agar 5 centimeter in verse ho, B prime kitna ho ga? 4.5 centimeter in verse. This ka matlab yeh ratio jo hai, that will not be, matlab, utna bhi small nahi hoongi. Jaysay, B option mein kya given hai? 0 0.09 something centimeter inverse. Iska matlab kya hai? B option kya coding? B double prime is much much greater than B prime. So, utna bhi significantly change nahi hoongi. There will be little bit change in the B value. Okay? So, this is like 4, uh, this is like 5, this time this will be 4.5, 4.7 and so on. Like that only. So, it means that this value will be of course smaller than on. Okay, but that must not small, that much smaller than one. So it means uh, given option set pata chal it will be like 0 0.99 something like that, six centimeter inverse. So option A will be correct. Okay, so in that logic you can easily solve this question. Okay, we used to discuss this uh, this type of concept in the class itself. Okay, thank you.